Hello, I'm Craig Franklin. I'm Editor-in-Chief for the Journal of Experimental Biology and I'm based at the University of Queensland in Brisbane, Australia. Journal of Experimental Biology is the leading comparative physiology journal and that includes uh, biomechanics. We publish papers on the form and function of animals and we're truly integrative in that uh, we look at there are papers that are published on uh, molecular mechanisms through to how cells and tissues and organs function through to organismal performance. Papers that uh, spark the interest of uh, our readers, uh, but also the general public, you know, those quirky papers. But we're also looking for papers that have impact and address significant societal issues such as climate change. When we talk about open access and we talk about readership, it's not just the scientists that get the opportunity to read our papers, but it can be the general public. And I, I like that. I like the idea that we can share our science on a global scale. What open access also does is that it provides a degree of equality um, and equity and that people from around the globe have the opportunity to, to read these papers. And those often from developing countries uh, where they're unable to access uh, papers because of subscription walls. If your institution signs up to a read and publish initiative, you can actually publish an open access paper for free. And in fact, you can publish many papers open access uh, with such a deal. And what's great about this is that often early career researchers or mid-career researchers who don't have a lot of funds, uh, research funds, have the ability to make their papers fully open access. We are getting fantastic feedback from our authors who have uh, been able to publish their papers open access through these read and publish initiatives. So the universities, their institutions have signed up and that allows them to publish all their papers open access uh, in the journal experimental biology. Open access allows all our papers in JB to be accessible and it's the pathway to the future.